Hi there, Pastor Josh here. It is only now eight days away until Christmas when we remember the greatest gift that God has ever given humanity. And it's such a great gift that we cannot comprehend it or understand it to its fullest depth. But it's a gift of joy. It's the gift of himself through his son Jesus for the salvation of all people to whoever will believe in him. Such an amazing, incredible gift that it makes sense and is good that we celebrate and remember it. Well, did you know, though, that God also gives other gifts specifically to his people? Paul talks about it in Romans 12, in 1 Corinthians 12, and Ephesians 4, and Peter talks about it in uh, his first epistle, chapter 4. And some of the gifts that God gives his people are things like a prophecy, uh, pastoring, teaching, evangelizing, a gift of faith. Faith is a, a gift. Healing, supernatural healing, and other miracles. Uh, speaking in a, a different tongue or, or interpreting that tongue. Uh, also gifts of, of service, gifts of giving, gifts of uh, serving. Did I say that one already? Gifts of uh, administration is a gift given by uh, the Holy Spirit. And while these gifts are given to the church, they're not given to all Christians. Each Christian uniquely receives a gifts, gift or gifts from the Holy Spirit. It means you have been gifted by the Holy Spirit. And Paul says the reason we've been given these gifts is for the building up of the church, the encouraging of one another. And so this Christmas season, I want to encourage you to ask God, if you don't know, God, what gift or gifts have you given me? And here's the thing. Paul says at the end of 1 Corinthians 12, uh, earnestly desire the greater gifts. And he answers what those greater gifts are at the very beginning of chapter 14, 1 Corinthians 12, 14. He says, uh, look, guys, I, I wish you all spoke in tongues, but I would rather that you all prophesied. So the greater gifts are the, these sort of supernatural gifts of prophecy and speaking in tongues. I wish you all spoke in tongues, but I would rather that you all prophesied. Now, maybe that sounds a little scary to you, like... Uh, prophecy, speaking in tongues, that's kind of weird. Or uh, a gift of miracles, what does that mean? Or, or supernatural healing, like, like I pray over someone and, and then God heals them? Maybe that sounds a little bit frightening to you, but doesn't it also sound exciting too? And so this Christmas season, yeah, ask God, God, what gifts have you given me? God, give me the gift of prophecy. Give me the gift of speaking in tongues, the gift of healing. Earnestly desire the greater gifts. And, and here's the thing. Just like salvation is a gift that God has given the world, but humans still have to receive the gift, still have to accept the gift. So we have to accept and receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit too. He, he offers them out to us and we can ignore them or just kind of put them in a corner of our life and not worry about them. So this Christmas, ask God, if you don't know, God, what gifts have you given me? Holy Spirit, what gifts have you given me? Receive the gift in faith and then start in faith, start using those gifts. And use those gifts for the building up of the church, for the expanding of God's kingdom, and for God's glory. Well, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year.